okay, don't worry if you can't see this sort of pile of stuff and clearly what it is. I'm going to show it to you closer up to the camera in a minute and show you how it works. Let, let me just tell you a bit about what it is, what the specs are, what it's capable of, what it's not capable of. Then at the near the end, I'll show you it closer up and how to use it and show you it turned on. Then I'll tell you if I recommend it or not and the price. So basically, it's a string of LED lights powered by USB. Now, just to start off with, I'd like to say that I've reviewed other lights before, and quite often they are powered by those sort of coin batteries, those cell batteries, a type that perhaps you'd use in a watch. So that is a bit of a pain because you have to keep buying new ones, and that's you know, I just don't personally like that. This here is powered by USB. So they, there's nothing to change, there's no new batteries to buy, no batteries to recharge. You just plug this into something and it doesn't have to be taken up a port on your laptop or your PC or your desktop computer or whatever. It can be of course plugged into, if you have a uh, war charger, USB war charger, something like that. It, anything basically has a USB to power it. So that is one of my favourite things about this. In fact, it, just a simple fact, it uses USB, not batteries. It's also very, very long. It's 33 feet and it has 100 LEDs. So it's lots of LEDs and a lot of reach as well. So you don't have to be, it isn't really short. It doesn't have to be really close to something. There's plenty of reach and lots of LEDs. So it's 100 starry LEDs that can decorate uh, and your environment for say just any general purpose or even a wedding Christmas Halloween lots of uses for this it is IP65 waterproof it's sealed it's got a sealed process with good waterproof performance can withstand can withstand all sorts of weathers including heavy rain and snow perfect for indoor and outdoor decorating proof just maybe make sure that the USB bit, the USB socket isn't in outdoors. Try to have that maybe coming indoors, the actual port, the USB bit, but the actual, the rest of it is waterproof. So it's good for indoor or outdoor use, but I would primarily recommend it for indoor. Bear in mind if you're wondering how I've used this and stuff like that when it still looks like it's uh, straight out of the box, well I've wrapped it back up just so it's nice and convenient here because I didn't want lots of long 33, uh, 33 feet wire all just jumbled up here so I've got it all neat, uh, neatly here. It comes with the wire itself with a USB end then you have a remote so it's re you can change it remotely with a remote control and I'll show you that in a minute there's lots and lots and lots of settings then there's this box here and that box there you don't actually have to plug it into it you can plug the lights directly in to something like a computer or whatever, but if you plug it directly into a computer, you can't use the infrared remote control and its settings, but you can still plug it alone into something and just have basic lights if that's what you need for some reason. But if you want a bit more control and a bit more uh, things like animation by having it flickering or pulsating, things like that, then you can plug this into this box, then this box into something like a computer and use a controller. So it's very flexible. It's made of copper wire material. It's thin and flexible copper wire, which is easy not just to set up, but also it's very flexible. The color, because of course you can get various uh, colors of these sort of lights. Well, most tend to be either a cool white or a warm white, although of course you can get all sorts of lights in various colors like pink, red, blue, whatever. But this one, uh, the primarily the two are warm white or cool white. This is warm white, so it's a bit more, a bit more yellowy, a bit more warm. Where, whereas if you've got a cool white, it feels, you know, like the name suggests, cold. This feels a bit warmer and more cheerful, and really suited more to spur kind of events like weddings or Christmas or whatever, perhaps than the cool white would be. It's working time before there's a chance of the lights stopping working and wearing out, things like that. It should be 25,000 to 50,000 hours, so it's plenty of lifespan. And it does have 18 months of warranty plus a 30-day money-back guarantee. The trouble is with some of these, like I reviewed some lights by another company before, and they're quite good. 
but they were like several they were like several units there was quite a few of them like 10 or something like that and each one had to be powered by a cell battery and that is such a pain because you've got to go buy some and replace them every so often i prefer when things are rechargeable or they don't need in the case of this don't even need recharging because they plug into usb so i like things that either recharge by usb or just don't even need recharging like this doesn't and just powered by usb so this is got to be used quite frequently even though the other ones aren't particularly and may not be because i get fed up of changing batteries uh but when they're things like double A's, triple A's, it's not too bad. But when they're cell batteries, it's not as convenient. And I don't really like it. This is USB powered. So that is just so handy. Really, really handy. It makes it a lot, lot quicker and simpler to use. And I, just, I really like USB powered things. Okay. Let's take a look at some of the things you get here. Now, you're probably not going to be able to really see these buttons. Um... But I'll try to tell you what they are. Up here you have on and off. So if you want to remotely turn them off while, even, while plug, unplugging them or whatever. You just hit off there. Then when you want them back on, hit on. So it's a way of turning them on and off without unplugging and replugging them. Then to the left of that you have a brightness up or down to change your brightness. Here you have all sorts of settings from, from 10 to 100. So you have, hopefully my hand isn't in the way for showing this, but... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, then it goes 60, 70, 80, 90. And that is percentages of brightness. Instead of hitting hitting this up and down, up and down until you get the one you want, you can skip directly to a certain brightness. So 10 is the lowest brightness, then 20 is a little bit more, 30 is a little bit more than that, and of course 90 is nearly all the way up, then 100 would be at 100% brightness, as bright as they all go. So I think that is really, really handy. Then what else options do we have here? We have some yellow buttons here. We have FF, 30 hertz flash, uh, 3 hertz flash, 2 hertz flash, 1 hertz flash, and clear. Now, basically, that is for flashing, so they flicker, and I'll show you that. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Uh, so you have four options there, FF, or 1 hertz, 2 hertz, or 3 hertz. Then, if you want to just go back to having it as a solid light without any flashing, you can hit the yellow clear button. Then we have a row of dark blue buttons here, and the trouble is with the dark blue buttons on this, they have black writing on dark blue, and you can barely read it. But just know that the dark blue ones here would be like, so you've got a light blue one 10, so obviously the next one up, the dark blue one, even if you have trouble reading it, is 20. Now these are a lot harder, but the top one of the blue one says smooth. Then counting down, you have like 20 seconds, 30, 10, 5 seconds, things like that. That is for another type of flickering. Then if you want to stop those that type of flickering, you press that yellow clear. That works for that as well. Okay, well, I'll demonstrate what all that looks like. That is powered by battery. That's the only thing that's powered by battery, which is a bit of a pity because that means that this does have something that needs to have a battery replaced. Although not necessarily, because if you don't want all those different modes, if all you want to do is plug it in and have its default setting on, you don't even have to use this controller and you don't have to use the white box. You can just plug it in and not worry about replacing this battery and not, not use that white box. But the chances are you're going to want to use this. And if you are, bear in mind that does use a cell battery, but it probably will last a long time. I haven't used this for a huge amount of time, so I don't know how long that battery will last. But it's not exactly a very high powered little thing. It's only a little infrared remote. Very basic remote. But just that's something you should know. But if you don't want to use this. If you just want to plug it in and use it on its default light. Which is not flickering. It's a standard bright light. Then you can plug this in. Directly to a USB source. Not this. And forget about this. Just bear that in mind. Now what is this here? This is the extension uh, box, power box, that you may or may not want to use. If you just want to use it on solid light default with no settings and nothing, you can just plug that there it directly into a power source. But if you want more control, you plug the USB from that into this one here, which is a female USB end. That has this on it, that is just the 
infrared receiver that's where it picks up the commands from the controller so don't worry about that and then you have the actual power box then on the opposite end you have a standard male USB A end which plugs into your computer or your USB wall charger or whatever so if you want to use this you find this female end which is the one that's next to the IR receiver you take the USB I hope you can see this I'm doing it from behind a tripod so I can't really see what I'm doing but you take this end and plug it into this like that now you can use your controller now you can use the remote then you once anyway once you plug the other end into your computer or whatever okay so I hope I've explained that well enough about how you do don't need to use that white box but if you do why and how to use it basically if you want to use it you plug the USB in from the light to the weird looking USB on here which is the female end that you can insert the regular end into then you have this IR receiver little extra wire that you don't have to worry about that is just how it picks up the controller then to use that you then plug this regular USB end into your USB power source such as your USB wall charger or your laptop or PC or whatever then of course you have the controller to use I'm just going to cut away and when I come back after um, after this little cut that I'll edit out I will have this plugged into a laptop which you won't see the laptop will be off screen then I will be behind the camera with the remote and I'm going to leave this wrapped so you can see see them you know well having it all sprawled out and this would be simpler but you'd also have this unraveled really long and set up somewhere for decoration uh, I will basically have this plugged into a laptop off screen and I will be pressing these buttons from off screen and you can see the flickering for the flash in, you can see it on full brightness, lowest setting, or turning it on and off just to demonstrate very very quickly. Then I'll cut away again, come back, give you my thoughts on it and if I recommend it or not and how much they cost because actually this is some of the cheaper lights I've seen yet it's more capable it doesn't need batteries replaced unless you count the controller USB powered and it has lots of settings for brightness and flickering yet I have seen others and in fact I believe one of the ones I reviewed or I've used in the past anyway was more expensive and wasn't USB powered and didn't have the controller didn't have any of the settings and I think you'll be quite pleasantly surprised by the price of this actually okay now bear in mind the lights are currently on now let's just try turning these on with the main light in the room still on then in a second I'll turn the light off there we go now just give my camera a second to re readjust its uh, exposure settings okay now that is it uh, with the red on button pressed on the controller I had it plugged into my laptop and it was off by default then I hit the red on button and it, as you saw it came on. Now let me hit the off button, it's off and my camera settings will adjust. Now let me just hit the mains power light off, the main light in the room off. Okay now as you can probably tell it's pitch black here, it's as black as coal. Now let me hit, using the remote control from behind the camera here, let me hit the on button there we go and that is really nice I love the way that looks it really suits something Christmassy or even a, like I say wedding you could imagine this at a wedding perhaps or perhaps you know around a dinner table at, at the reception or something like that at a wedding because it has a nice warm I wouldn't even call it white they call it warm white I just call it a warm light color or even yellow it has a warm yellowy tint that really really nice for something like a wedding or uh, at Christmas I could see this maybe if you have one of those nativity displays you know with the three wise men that sort of thing you know one of those little nativity sets you I could imagine this wrapped around it you know around the edges of it or something like, something like that it really really does suit something like Christmas or a wedding uh, they also say Halloween. I don't know if it's got quite that right feel to it, but I, I could see you could perhaps use it for Halloween in some way if you're imaginative. 
basically it has lots of uses but I think it's primarily if you're using this at an event or some kind of event wedding or Christmas is what really uh, comes to mind as standing out now I, I, I'm having trouble seeing the controller because the controller doesn't have backlighting I'm in the dark but let's try okay I've just hit what I think looking in the dark is the 10 button for 10% so that's it at its lightest now this will look a little over the top perhaps anyway because they're all bunched together but let me just lift this there they are of course they'll look quite different unraveled it's just really for convenience with this review but I think it demonstrates it well enough for what we're doing now let's hit 20 that's 20 that's the next step up that's the second from lowest 30 40 Okay, that is uh, the 100 button. That is 100%. Let's just lift that up a set. Okay, that's 100%. Let me just hit the 10 button to show you the drastic difference. 10, which is 10% at the bottom, to 100. This is 100. 10. That's 10. That's the lowest setting. Now 100. and back down to 10 and 100 there you go so you, there's quite a difference especially if they're unraveled okay so there you go now if we finish with this and we don't want to just go right over and unplug it if, uh, since we're using this power box we don't have to do that if we want using the power box if we you weren't using that white box, that white extension. If we just had these directly plugged into a laptop or something, to turn these off, we'd have to unplug them. But the advantage of using this remote IR box, power box, is that we can use a controller and we can just hit the off button. There you go, straight off. Then we can leave it like that till we want them on. So say we're about to go to bed, we can hit this off, not to waste power. Then. Uh, we can leave it off to the next evening when it starts to get a bit dark out or see we want, perhaps we wouldn't want it on all day or when it's sunny out or whatever now let's imagine now the sun has just gone out or gone away and it's got nice and uh, starting to get nice and dark where maybe we can take advantage of these lights we can just pick up the controller and hit the on button so with this IR box and with this power box we can just use a remote to quickly turn them off when we're finished or turn them on when we want to start using them the next day. There's no unplugging and replugging if you don't want to. But if you don't want to use this controller or the batteries run out, you can just plug them in and use them on the default mode and then unplug them. So it's so flexible, lots of options, lots of flickering, lots of poor signal options, lots of solid brightness options from very door to very bright and in between. And you can either plug this directly into a USB without the box and not using a controller, or you can use this and get more options and turn it on and off with the remote. So this is such a flexible, great product. And how much do you think it is? Well, let me just turn the lights back on in here. Well, how much do you think this costs? Well, I have used other lights. I've used other lights that were about 10 or 15 pounds and they use cell batteries and there's no controller no options and they've been 10 or 15 and you could perhaps even pay more for that similar sort of thing so uh, knowing that what would i think this would be which has a lot of lights it's 100 leds plus it's a long cable plus it has a power box to power it by not just usb but also use a remote control an ir remote control and it comes with a remote control as well included. How much would I think that is? Well, knowing I've used similar things to this without the long cable with perhaps not as many LEDs and definitely not USB power and definitely doesn't have a controller and they've cost 10 or 15 and I would guess that this must surely be at least 30 pounds, perhaps even more. No, it's actually 10 pounds. It's 9.99 in the UK, it's 10 pounds. Yet I have seen and used uh, lights before that are powered by cell batteries. They haven't had as many LEDs. They haven't been as long cable. They haven't had a remote control. They haven't had settings and options. And they've been 10. 
Yet this has so much more, this, uh, so much more quality, and so much more options, and so much more cable and light and controller and flexibility. Yet it's the same price, and that really is quite shocking. You get so much more for so much less in the way of money. So. I would actually very much consider buying more of these, especially when it comes closer to Christmas or something like that. Uh, if it if it gets you know, closer to Christmas, I'm really going to consider buying another pair or two of these to decorate various parts of the house using them. Because they require USB power and nothing more. And they give you some options if you want some poor shading and, or if you want to, don't like them so bright you can turn them down, things like that. I, I would really consider using this for decoration or if I was uh, if I was getting married and I wanted some decorations around the tables or just around some you know just in, in the reception or even in the wedding itself or something and I wanted some nice kind of starry looking lights as decoration this is definitely the first thing I'm going to think of now is these because the USB power to no worrying about uh, lots of cell batteries no uh, just power them by USB or by a wall charger that has USB ports on it, something like that. Lots of flexibility and it's really bright, lots of lights, lots of rooms so if you need it to stretch out for some display you can. And you can dim it down or have them flickering, flashing, pour seed in. It's just so good and at a bargain price, uh, you know. I don't normally call things bargain prices in my reviews, but this I have to because I've used a much lesser products for the same price. This has so much to it, so much you can do, so much with it, and USB powered for the price. I really, 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 really highly recommend this. A link will be in the description. Please like and comment on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Plus, if you could do me a huge favor, if you're watching this as a product review on the Amazon product page, please hit the yes button next to was this review helpful to you. They'll help me out a lot too. Thanks for watching.